Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the void. I'm player one. I'm player two. Welcome back to Professor Layton's I'm all of them all. Yes. So. Yakuza has thrown us off guard, so we're going to something a little more light-hearted. Yes. And depend- I, I don't know which order these are uploaded in, but if they're not in the same order, you'll- You'll see. <laughs> So yes, back to Leighton. Last time we've left a drop stone and got back on the train. Mm, back on the train. And we saw Granny. Apparently we missed a fuck ton of puzzles. So let's keep going. Yes, moving day. Like and subscribe. 35 pick rats. We already have 1,110. You have four horses, all of which travel at different speeds. In traveling from point A to point B, these horses take one, two, four, and six hours respectively. One day you decide to move all your horses from point A to point B. However, you can only move a maximum of two horses at a time, and you need to ride a horse back to point A each time. Knowing you can only move as fast as the slowest horse you're traveling with, what's the fewest number of hours it would take to complete your move? That was a mouthful. Okay, hang on. You can only move a maximum of two at a time, and we need to ride a horse back. <clears throat> we can only move as fast as the slowest horse we're traveling with. So, we ride horse one, we take horse six. Well, no, because- Those two go up. We can only move as fast as the slowest horse. So, no matter what, we're taking those six hours. I know. Okay, okay, wait, 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 wait. Uh, okay, so wait. If we take the six one and have our one horse, that'll be six hours and then seven to come back. Mm-hmm. Six hours, one to come back, so that's seven the round trip. Yes. So then, we do that same with the four one. That's eleven, and then twelve. And then fourteen, and then we don't have to go back to point A. So fourteen. Alright. Did you... Yes, yes. Let's see if this works. Okay. All right. Six and two, two back. Or maybe six and four, four back. So ten. Four and one, one back. Wait, 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 wait. We take six, one, that's six, and then seven for the one back. We take four and one, that's four, and then five. Okay, let's pull, pull, pull up memo. Take six and four. Do that six up. And then you bring four back, so that's a ten hour ride. Bring four and one. Bring one back. That'd be a five hour ride. And then one and two. So that'd Three, just be two. a two hour ride. So that's 17, so that's more than what I got. So it has to be less than 14. Hmm. Let's 
see if this works. There's no way it can be a 10 hour ride, right? Hmm, let's see if this works. It can't be 10. Hmm, let's see if this works. See if this works. What? How? Take one and two hours, then ride your one hour horse back three hours. Ride on, on your four and six horses. Oh. Return on the two hour. I, uh, I hate math. Camera card. Board splitter two. Oh god damn it. Oh, this thing. Mm-hmm. Cut it into two pieces that you can form a rectangle. Uh do we need how many do we have a maximum amount of cuts? One cut. It needs to be two pieces. My brain is not thunking enough for this. Oh, oh, oh. We see. Cut it there. Stretch across. No, one down. I'm just trying to see what could possibly be the bottom. We need a straight five in a row. That has to be a thing.
So you're saying that? Yeah. It says one, but it has to be one cut, so you have to, right? Well, no, the thing has to be in two pieces. Solved. Yes! Damn. And there we have it. Damn, damn. I don't know how you saw that. Our brain do a chugger. Chugga choo choo. This is what we call horizontal thinking. Alright, odd shape out. You have a box. Using the white cubes, standard units, the box is two cubes wide by three cubes long by two cubes tall. Two white cubes are permanently attached to the floor of the box. Now of the four shapes, A through D, shown below. Three of them can be placed together in the box to fill it to the top with no gaps. D. Find, the man out. find the shape that doesn't fit. This one? D. This should do the trick. You are smart. You are smart, sir. Huh. Wonderful. You are hard carrying. Alright, mayoral election. Three people at odds with one another are running for mayor in the upcoming town election, including these three candidates. The town has a voter population of 40. In order to win, a candidate must get more votes than any other. If each of the 40 voters casts a single vote and every vote is recognized, what is the fewest number of votes a candidate needs to secure victory with certainty? So what's 40 divided by 3? Thirteen point three repeating. So let's try thirteen, then let's try fourteen. Just leave it to me. Fourteen. They they need fourteen votes. I just tried fourteen. And they just then try fifteen. Wasn't right. To secure victory with certainty. Oh wait. Including the candidates, the town has a voter population of 40. Um, so then would that be 40 no wait, it'd be It's 37. It's 37 divided by 3. So 12, 12 repeating. Sixteen. Just leave it to me. Seventeen. We're just gonna go through the numbers at this point, because math hurts our brains. Just leave it to me. I feel like we're missing something. Twenty, maybe? I, I don't I don't I don't know. Mm-hmm. Even the three candidates have the right to vote. Seeing as how each of the most wins, the candidates will likely vote for themselves. Okay. 40 votes minus the three leaves you with 37. Find the number of votes it takes to gain a majority in a pool of 37 and add one additional vote. So would that not be 12 or 13? Wasn't right. Try twenty. Twenty. I, I don't. I don't know. Twenty would be the majority, I guess. We're looking for the fewest. Twenty-six. Just leave it to me. Maiden's apprentice what? strikes again. 
folks, no, there's no cheating. We didn't look it up. He literally just said that. Huh? The winner has to have at least 20. Since each of the candidates dislike the other two, each will likely vote for themselves. 40 votes minus those three leaves 37. The winner will need over half the votes. In this case, minimum of nine. When, we wh did, where's we, half? Where's we, half? We did the math wrong. Where's half coming from? We, well, if you have over half, that's the majority. Yes, but there's three people. far-off country, there's a king whose favorite pastime is showing off the latest possessions he's collected. The subjects of his kingdom are forbidden to purchase items the king has acquired for a month or so. Only once he's tired of his new purchase can the common folk buy, and buy that item for themselves. However, the other day, the king bought a new item that had him all but commanding his subjects to buy one of the same item as soon as possible. A phone? So he could talk to them? Because if no one else had a phone, he couldn't really use it? Consider yes. this puzzle solved. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. A true gentleman leaves no puzzle unsolved. The telephone is the answer after all. The phone is much fun if there's no one on the other end. See, why can't we have more of those? Those are basic logic puzzles. We're fine with basic logic puzzles. Hat weather. There is a fellow with very particular rules about when he wears his best hat. When it's sunny, he always wears his hat. When it's rainy, he doesn't wear his hat. When it's cloudy, he doesn't wear his hat unless it's been cloudy for two days in a row, in which case he wears his hat on the second of these days. Below is a chart of when this man wore his hat over the course of one week. Use the panels to fill in the weather for each day. Easy. hat on the second of a cloudy day. Uh -huh. Can we move Tuesday? No, that one's set in stone. Hang on. This one cannot be cloudy and it cannot be sunny, so it has to be rainy. Mm -hmm. So then this one has to be sunny. Mm -hmm. This one has to be rainy, this one has to be sunny. Right, we're not getting the, the past one. There True. We there we go. There we go. This should do the trick. Yes. I had to take a little bit, but that, one, that one's also ah, nice. Wonderful. If you assume the Sunday shown was the second cloudy day in a row. And now, Granny's last one, painting the flag. How many puzzles will this bump us up? You have a pristine white flag. You want to color into three sections. You have three paints. No two adjacent sections of the flag can be the same color. Each section can be only one color, and you can't change the number of size of these selections. If you aren't allowed to mix paint, how many distinct flag designs are possible? So it's another one of these. Should be easy to find. So it has to be the three columns up and down? Yes. So A, B, C. That's one. B, A, C. So it'd be nice, right? C, A, B. Okay, so 
ABC, ACB, okay, BAC, BCA, so, six? No, because we haven't had C in the middle yet. A, B, C, A, C, B. There's, there's only two options for each one. A, B, C, A, B, C. Uh, sorry, A, B, C, A, C, B. Yeah. B, A, C. Yeah. B, C, A. B, C, A. And then C, A, B. C, A, B. C, B, A. So, six. So each one has four, so then it'd be twelve. Just leave it to me. Really? Oops, that wasn't right. How many? Eighteen. Eighteen. Just leave it to me. I'm struggling with mental maths. Well, I think we know it has to be a double digit because it's giving Just us two digits to, to work with. You have three paints. It doesn't mean those are the only colors you can use white to. God damn it. Oh. Okay, well then, fuck, that does so much then. Okay, so we have the 12 we already have, and then white, A, B, Wab. <laughs> white, A, B, white, B, A, white, oh, fucking hell. White, A, C, white, A, C, white, C, A, white, C, A, white, A, white. White B white, white C white. So then, white C A. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I think that's all for that. No. Yeah. White. White A B, white B A, white C A, white C B. Okay. 
happen white A white, white B white, white C white. So then each white should have seven ones. So then seven times three is 21. 21 plus 12 that we already had is 33. So is it 33? Most third of your flag is white, you'll have a total of nine distinct designs. Okay, so I missed some. Because I counted seven. So that means so it's nine times four. So what's nine times four? Thirty-six. Thirty-six? Thirty-six? Thirty-something. Thirty-six. Okay. It's gotta be it. Thank fuck. Maiden's apprentice oh. strikes again. Yeah, that's fine to hell. And we've cleared out Granny. We now have cleared out all the puzzles we missed. <sighs> oh. We're at 55 puzzles out of... I think it's still 100 something. So I think we might be like a third now. Maybe. Look at the camera. This stuff will make sense eventually. I don't think that's the flash. Pull that long john back you had in the bottom, uh, left hand, cor right hand corner. Nope. Over. That one. Turn it. Look, cuz, wire coming from... Yeah, down there. Well, that's the episode. Um, that's the episode. Fun. But hey, I needed to do them anyway. Haha. <laughs> yeah. I've been player two. I've been player one. We'll see you next time when we actually do something. <laughs> when we actually progress story. Bye bye. Bye.